And for the first time, a woman has agreed to let us record her accusations about sexual harassment against Mayor Filner. Her experience happened long before he was mayor. She says it happened when he was a congressman. She is only talking to Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker. This woman was Bob Filner's constituent. For years, she lobbied the congressman on behalf of California's Association of Realtors. We would go into his office, we would meet, we would talk. There was always a photo taken, um, either at the beginning or the end. And it seems that Mr. Filner always wanted to be next to a woman in the photos. And um, on several occasions, I was that person. The first time that I stood next to him in a photo, he kind of rubbed the shoulders and up and down the back. It would go to where it was a caress on the bottom and up the shoulders or... He would actually touch your yes, rear end. Yes, the bottom, yes. He would then go um, sometimes as far around as the waist and then kind of come up so that he was around your arm and the inner uh, underarm um, breast area. What did you do? How do you react to something like that? I pulled away, looked at him. Did you feel like you were being sexually harassed? I was violated, yes. Why did it take you so long to come forward? Fear of reper repercussions. And I mean, even now we're, we're putting you in silhouette. I mean, you would, you would have been the first woman to really put a face to this. I know, I know. And, and even now, I'm, I'm still afraid of repercussions. She said she talked to us because of this statement recorded on a DVD. He is abusing his power. And when he came out and did a DVD saying that he was sorry and he had apology and he would take a, a harassment class, it goes much, much further than that. And that's what made me decide that I needed to talk to you about this. Now, the woman in the interview considered talking to us without hiding her identity. She said she may do so in the future as more women come forward. The mayor has said in news releases that he is innocent. He has refused or not responded to all of Team 10's requests for interviews. With Team 10, I'm investigator Mitch Blocker.